What is up enthusiasts, Ada Cedar Flags here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I wanted to take a different approach for this video and I wanted to appeal to coaster video games as opposed to roller coasters. This channel is made up of roller coaster videos, but coaster video games have also been a major part of my life. I remember vividly back in either 2005 or 2006 when my parents got me a copy of Roller Coaster Tycoon, the original and I played the heck out of that thing. I vividly remember first putting the disc in the computer and setting out my first scenario. To this day, I still love these games. From No Limits 2 to Roller Coaster Tycoon, I am addicted. And as someone who has played dozens of these sort of games in this particular genre, I wanna talk about what the best possible coaster building game could be. I'm going to look at a few of my favorites over the years, and I'm going to talk about what I think is the best overall and is the best for you the individual watching this video. I'm going to put awards for different video games, so if you're into something different, maybe you'll appeal more to that game than another. So together, we are going to figure out what is the best roller coaster building game. There are a few games that I have played before in the past that did not make this list just because they didn't think they were eligible. The first one I want to talk about is Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and the reason I didn't put it on this list is because, well, that game was an absolute abomination to the franchise, and I got it for four bucks, and it was the worst four bucks I have ever spent in my entire life. The next game I want to talk about is Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This is just because there have been many successors, and even though there are cult followings for these games, a lot will apply with one of the games on this list. There are newer versions that have come out of some of these games, and so I'm just not going to include these. I have my four favorite coaster games that I've played over the years in this list, so let's get right into the list of my four favorites and what is the best out of each and every one of them. The first game I want to talk about is the oldest on this list by an absolute landslide. It is Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and the award I gave it is the most to do. This game has the most to do out of any coaster game I have ever played. And it probably has the most hours out of any roller coaster game I've ever played because I played it with the longest time span. This game is absolutely insane with what you could do. And many games have really good DLC or downloadable content. But Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 probably has one of the most insane packs when it comes to DLC. When it comes to DLC, they have the Soaked Pack and the Wild Pack. Combining it together is Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. Probably one of the most immersive roller coaster game experiences you could possibly experience. Now, the other categories in games are that they are really good roller coaster and theme park building games, but with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, you could build an entire resort. Here's what I mean you could build your own amusement park, but you could also build a water park. That is right. The Soaked Pack comes with your own water park tools, including water slides, wave pools, etc., and you could build your very own massive resort. You could also build a zoo on this game. That is right, you could have animal enclosures and exhibits. You could have full safaris. The possibilities are truly endless. On one of these games, you could build a good amusement park, but on Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, you could build an amusement park, a water park, and a safari all in one. It could be this massive experience, and I can't think of any other coaster game that allows you to do all three. If they came out with better graphics for this game and made the track design more realistic or just put some of these water features in other park games, well, that would easily take the number one spot for me. But since this game is a little outdated in some of the categories, I wouldn't put it as my number one. Yeah, sure, back in 2007 it might have been my number one, but nowadays some of the bigger graphics in some of these other games have taken over and this game can look outdated at times. The next game I want to talk about is Parkitect. Now, before I get into Parkitect, I just want to say, if you were a big fan of the classic roller coaster tycoons 1 and 2, you are going to absolutely chew this game up. This game has a very immersive setting, and it feels a lot like a modern-esque version of those roller coaster tycoon games, but still giving off that retro feel. Now, the award I gave this one is the most challenging. If you want that feeling of operating an amusement park, and you want all the challenges with it, well, this is the game for you. While other games will have a few financial struggles with it, this game has so much. While other games just allow you to have trash cans, this game allows you to have a whole system of trash underneath your park. It's insane. And the demographics are a lot more realistic. 
For example, if you want to have a great amusement park, but a new amusement park opens up in your area, it will be pretty complicated. You'll get less guests because they will be more attracted to that other park. Or there will be a roller coaster accident nearby, and the fear of people in your city will provide them to not go to your park, and attendance will drop. There's so many demographics from outside of the park as opposed to inside of the park, and most of it is stuff you can't control whatsoever. It's instead a game of luck. The rides are much more expensive. The crowds are harder to attract and everything costs more. You get less money at the beginning, so there might be times where you might be put into debt. This is a very complicated game and it took me a while to get my park on its shoes. If you like video games with strategy, but also wanna build an amusement park and you wanna do more financial stuff when it comes to amusement parks, this is definitely the game for you. Parkitect out of all of these has the most complicated system and it's definitely the most fun when it comes to strategy on its own. The next game I wanna talk about is No Limits 2 Roller Coaster Simulation, and it wins the award for most realistic roller coaster game. Not realistic in the way that it has strategy, but the most realistic when it comes to graphics. It's more of a simulation than a game, hence the name. So if you just wanna build a flat out realistic roller coaster, in a good engine, this is the place to do it. In this game, there's no economy, there's no stands you have to make, there aren't even any guests. This is purely simulation, and if you just want to build a coaster for the fun of it, this is the place to do it. Now, surprisingly, despite all of that, this is my favorite out of the four. I wanted to provide the least amount of bias as possible, and I didn't want to make this the best game, just because that a lot of people might say, this game is better, or this game is better. Now, you might be asking yourself, all of these other games can make you build roller coasters, what makes this any different? Well, No Limits 2, while it only does roller coaster design, it is by far the best in roller coaster design. While all of the other games make you place coaster tracks segment by segment, this one has a different coaster designer as it makes you place vertex by vertex. This allows you to have smoother transitions and basically no limits, hence the name. You can make any type of coaster you want, with any type of element you want. You want a Schwarzkopf looper with a 120 mile an hour launch or a PTC that has 20 inversions? Well, you could do it on this game and you can make it look great. With the smooth transitions, anything is really possible. Like I said, if you're more into coaster design and you wanna make the most realistic and best roller coaster you can, this is the game for you. But if you are into amusement parks more and management, the other three will appeal more to you. Something else that's really cool about this game is that you could use exterior softwares like SketchUp, Blender, or other softwares to make your own buildings and scenery. It's very easy to export to the software, and it's a very customizable game. This is what most amusement parks and franchises use to tease off their new ride. It's very realistic and as close as you can get to a professional roller coaster design. The final game I want to talk about is, in my opinion, the best coaster building game overall. It is Planet Coaster. So I give the award for best overall here. This has a little bit of everything I mentioned in the past few games. If you want to build a full resort, you could play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. If you like challenges, you could play Parkitect. If you want the most realistic ride, you could play No Limits 2. But if you want a little bit of all three, but not quite everything, you could get Planet Coaster. This game is a successor to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Even though it has less, it's a lot more of a realistic game with better graphics. This was, after all, designed by Frontier, who helped with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and Thrillville. This is a great game, and even though it's not No Limits 2 customizable, with a few techniques, you can make a pretty smooth and reliable ride. Plus, you can have an entire theme park, so if you want to have really realistic roller coasters and a very realistic setting, you could do it in Planet Coaster. Of course, it doesn't go to the level of No Limits 2, but it is definitely up there. So if you want the best of all of the worlds, well, this is the choice to go. In my opinion, this would probably be the most well-rounded game, and in that would be the best overall. Even though it's not my favorite, I'm assuming that it's most of your favorites and you love it. To recap, if you're into a full experience including water parks and zoos, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 will be the best for you. If you like managing and challenges, Parkitect will be the best for you. If you like realism, No Limits 2 will be the best for you. And if you like a little bit of everything, Planet Coaster will be the best for you. 
this was my video. Now, I'm not a big video game critic as much as I am a roller coaster critic, so I might have not been the slickest when it comes to reviewing these, but oh well. This is Cedar Flags, and that was my video. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments below, and tell me what is your favorite coaster game. I might do an Ask the Fans for this just to see what it would be like. This is Cedar Flags, and I will see you all later.